Let me begin by reporting that by virtually all metrics, ASH remains a very strong organization. We have a world-class meeting in internationally acclaimed publications. Our global outreach continues to grow as we work with other regional leaders and partner societies. We continue to introduce forward-thinking initiatives and programs, and our financial position is solid. One of the highlights of this past year has been the creation of the AS Research Collaborative. This collaborative is a mission-focused, nonprofit organization established by ASH that will foster partnerships to accelerate progress in hematology. As a trusted professional society, ASH is well positioned to support new discoveries, treatment breakthroughs, and novel approaches to, treatment, to treating patients with blood disorders worldwide. We anticipate that the ASH Research Collaborative will support collaborations and coordination of efforts. Let me tell you a little bit more about the components of the ASH Research Collaborative that we are unveiling at this annual meeting. At the foundation of the ASH Research Collaborative is its data hub, which is a technology platform that disrupts the status quo and is the foundation of a registry that is better, faster, and one that provides researchers with data they need to foster breakthroughs in patient care. The initial focus of the data hub is on sickle cell disease and multiple myeloma, although we anticipate onboarding additional diseases in years to come. The choice of these two conditions was very intentional. It allowed us to consider the needs for both malignant and non-malignant conditions. It also enabled us to envision the challenges as well as the potential for establishing collaborations among entities with existing data or to create a resource where no one, none currently exists. I'm proud to report that the Data Hub has already begun to ingest data from several academic institutions and pharmaceutical companies, and we're in negotiations with many more. I encourage you to stop by the ASH booth to learn more about this promising new initiative. Another component of the ASH Research Collaborative is the development of a sickle cell disease clinical trials network. This effort is in direct response to what ASH members and other stakeholders have told us would make the greatest impact on advancing research in sickle cell disease. The network will bring together a number of clinical research sites that will collaborate to advance the development and testing of interventional therapeutics. More specifically, the network will facilitate innovative approaches to clinical trial research, expedite drug development, and ultimately improve outcomes for individuals with sickle cell disease. Underscoring all of these efforts will be a patient engagement strategy that engages patients from inception to implementation. We look forward to launching this network in 2019. You can learn more about the network at the Sickle Cell Disease Kiosk or during a special question and answer session scheduled for Monday evening. The ASH Sickle Cell Initiative has many other components ranging from an educational awareness campaign to the development of legislative strategies to the creation of new sickle cell disease practice guidelines. These efforts, once again, capitalize on ASH's unique position and sincere commitment to address the burden of sickle cell disease, both in the United States and globally. You can learn more about many of these at the Sickle Cell Disease Kiosk in ASH Central. We welcome your feedback. Another major accomplishment this year has been the completion of the evidence review process and development of guidelines for the management and treatment of venothromboembolism, or VTE. Summaries of the first six of 10 clinical guidelines have now been published in Blood Advances and, and are available at this meeting in print format to all meeting attendees. We're very proud of, uh, that we have supported these new VTE clinical practice guidelines as this underscores ASH's ongoing commitment to guideline development. In fact, ASH is now leading the development of 19 clinical practice guidelines in various diseases and is collaborating with other organizations on several others. Now, to many of you, ASH is still pro pro probably synonymous with this meeting. But I want to update you on how we are making a difference year-round through our awards programs. 
During this past year, ASH budgeted for approximately $10 million in awards, ranging from the ASH Scholar Award to bridge grants to a longitudinal pathway of awards that supports our minority recruitment initiative. Today, I want to focus on ASH's newish award, the ASH Global Research Award. Earlier this year, eight early career hematology researchers from around the globe were the inaugural recipients of this award. Though this, through this program, ASH hopes to identify talented hematologists and help them through these critical stages to develop the tools to succeed. In doing so, we support future leaders and we increase the capacity around the world as we continue to nurture hematology collaborations across borders. Talking about global impact, I have the I've had the privilege of representing ASH at meetings with leadership from over 80, 35 hematology societies from around the world to discuss potential collaborations. Collaborations that over the past 10 years um, have led to sponsorship of over 900 trainees from around the world to attend highlights of ASH, meetings overseas, to participate in regional training opportunities like the CTR, CRTI Latin America, or to encourage hematologists from low and middle income countries to present their work as part of the ASH Global Capacity Building Showcase. Expanding on the success of the program, such as the highlights of ASH in Asia and Latin America, this year we will be sponsoring our first highlights of ASH in the Mediterranean in Athens, Greece, March 15th and 16th. We're also in the early phases of African Newborn Screening Initiative, which is focused on early intervention for sickle cell disease, coupled with potential early therapeutic interventions. Recruitment and retention of hematologists are tangible threats to the future of our field. As such, we recognize that a career in hematology can take many forms, and we must have programs that support many different paths. For instance, over the last 10 years, ASH has held our Clinical Research Training Institute, or, or CRTI, which has graduated scores of hematologists interested in clinical research. For those focused on translational research in an international context, we've partnered with the European Hematology Association to offer the Translational Research Training in Hematology program now in its ninth year. The Medical Educators Institute is an intensive hands-on workshop which brings together individuals pursuing a career in medical education. And we also have our Advocacy Leadership Institute for those interested in the intersection of health and public policy. For those who identify as systems-based hematologists or are, are interested in making a business case for a systems-based hematology career path at your own institution, we'll be holding a combination information and networking session on Sunday afternoon. Finally, our ongoing commitment to the development of new generations of hematologists was certainly evident yesterday at our trainee day that has been reimagined, now known as Asha Palooza. I've already heard from many of you that the program, along with the new open learning environment, was a smashing success, and we're already thinking about plans for next year. So I think, as you can see, the state of our society is strong as ASH strives to be an indispensable organization to all of us. It has been one of the greatest privileges of my life to serve as ASH president, and I've never felt more optimistic about our future than I do today. It sounds so simple, but the ASH mission is clear, to help hematologists conquer blood disorders worldwide. With your help, let us continue to grow our global and diverse community of clinicians, scientists, trainees, and educators. Let's dream big dreams and take calculated risks that have the potential for incredible returns. And let's continue to deliver high-impact high results because, in my view, our efforts are making a difference. Thank you for your attention, and please continue to enjoy the meeting.